Hey guys, good morning. Um, something I wanted to share with you guys this morning, like a thought, an epiphany that I've just had. You ever have it, had an epiphany? I just had an epiphany. And um, I share this epiphany with you advisedly, by the way. My good friend Noah says to me, I need to stop wearing, apparently I've got like a red shirt or is it a pink shirt that I wear? And she says I wear it with a tie, so she said, Vussy, you need to stop wearing it. People don't know, they don't know. I got the swag go. I got that swag go. <laughs> anyway, that's Noah. Check her out, by the way, on Instagram and Thy Royal Highness. Um, but I wanted to say something to you. I just had an epiphany and I was just like, I want to share this with you. Check this out. I think a lot of us spend, uh, well, for those of us that believe, and those of us that believe that if you put the word out and you pray, then the things for which you pray will be brought to you. Of course, you have to meet the prayer process halfway. You have to do the work you have to put in the hours you you have to meet the process halfway you can't pray and then just sit there right if somebody just says cut your hair i will i will <laughs> i'm getting ready to go on tour so i'm going to be traveling over the next day or two so i'll definitely cut my hair and hit up my barber uh tepo on this and let him know to make time and can come to, to see me so that i can get all this lined up this is not the point of the video you guys are messing up the video here is the point of the video all of us, I think, who pray and believe, believe that in prayer you, 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 you will speak into the world that which you want manifest, right? So you will put out your hopes, your dreams, your aspirations through the word of prayer. And those of us who believe, believe that God, your creator, is listening and will help you with, you know, the things that you want. He will grant you those things. But we also know that you have to meet the process halfway. You have to work. You have to, you you know, you have to you have to do the you have to do the do. Check this out. Something hit me like, what is that 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 famous line from that uh, Kanye West song? It hit me like Tina did Ike in the limo. But something hit me. Check this out. I think rather than pray for the things you want in your life, you should pray. For the wisdom to recognize those things i think rather than pray for wealth you should pray for the discernment to accumulate wealth rather than pray for material things you should pray for an attitude of gratitude to appreciate those material things rather than pray for good health i think you should pray for a good life i think we pray for the wrong things we pray for the result not the input and so that's why sometimes life takes too long to grant us the things we want because you keep praying for the result. God, give me money. God, give me wealth. But you know, if you are given wealth without discernment and wisdom, you'll destroy it. You ever seen somebody win the lotto and like box through the money? I've got that show now on TV called I Blew It of people who had like tons of money and they just box through the money. Why? Because if you have the wealth without the spirit of discernment and the wisdom of, of self, you'll destroy it. The wealth, in fact, will destroy you. I had a meeting yesterday with an incredible entrepreneur and this guy was saying something to me. He said, I would take a million in my bank account that I've worked hard for over two billion in my bank account that I got overnight. And I was like, wait, you got to say that again. He says, because a million in my bank account that I've worked hard for is a million in my bank account that I've worked. I've put in the time. I've put in the hours. I've got, I've done all the thing I need to do. So I know how to make the million. And not only do I know how to make the million, I know most importantly how to preserve the million. Whereas if I had two billion that was just put in my account tomorrow, I don't know how I made it. I was lucky, maybe. Right, right place, right time, maybe. Connection to the right person, maybe. But I don't know how I made it. And because there is no system of knowing how I made it, I don't know how to replicate that system and make that two billion again. And what's likely to happen is it'll destroy me. Wow. So what I wish for you today is as you pray, I wish for you to pray for the right stuff. I wish for you to pray for the input, not the outcome. I wish for you to pay for wisdom and discernment and an attitude of gratitude. I wish for you to pay to pray for a spirit of giving and receiving in good heart, but giving not with, with, without the intent to receive. I wish for you to pray for that and recognize that if those things are granted you and you are, you are granted that life, then the result will come. The wealth will come. The good health will come. The good friends will come, etc., etc. And then one final bit, and I'll love and leave you guys. This was for me a second bit of like the the you know the the, the epiphany I had this morning. Sometimes I think God doesn't grant us the things we pray for because we're keeping company with the wrong people. 
So you're doing the right stuff. And maybe you need to just look at your life. You're doing the right stuff. You're studying, you're working hard, you're putting in the hours, you're working your business. You're just keeping company with the wrong people. And God will not bring light into a space of darkness. He will not do it. You keep company with the wrong people, you will not be granted the, 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 the gifts of God. I don't, I don't think so anyway. I don't think so. So, you know, if, if you want to be, if you're praying for wealth, but you're hanging around with people that gossip. You're hanging around with people that speak ill upon other people. You're hanging around with people that wish nothing but, you know, evil on other people. They, every time they open their mouth, it's to talk about someone else. They never open their mouth to talk about a new idea or a new business. These are the kind of people, after a conversation, they don't leave you feeling richer. Like you've learned something new, like your life is changing. You just feel like, well, here I am. And what I wish for you is that you would push those people out of your life. Most of the time, over and out. Have a good day. Cheers.